Hi. If you've ever struggled with stuttering or stammering, then you will understand what I'm talking about when I say that there are times where you may repeat what you're saying. Repeat, repeat, repeat what you're saying just to try to get it out smoothly. And what I've found over the years and from personal experience is that this is something that you can stop, that you can get rid of. You can practically eliminate this. Okay. That is repetition. It's repeating yourself unless you're doing it on purpose, right? So uh, I've worked with clients who will continue to say the same word or the same phrase over and over until they get it out. And so that's a clear giveaway. Hey, I'm stuttering. I'm stammering. I'm, you know, I'm having a problem saying what I'm going to say. So I'm going to just keep saying it until I get it out. So this is going to be a relatively short video because the solution is to first of all understand that repetitions or repeating yourself is a pattern. It's a habit, right? It's a, it's a habit and it's a habit that can be stopped. So let's just talk briefly about how you can stop it, but understand that uh, the complete explanation of this and all the exercises that go along with this can be found inside the Pro 90D Smooth Speech System, inside the self-study itself, or working with me one-on-one. -on -one. So when you repeat yourself, it's a habit, it's a pattern. Habits and patterns can be replaced with new habits and patterns. But the first thing that must happen is this. The first thing that must happen is what we call awareness. Right? Awareness. So first you must come, you must become aware that you're doing it. So you have to become aware, first of all, that you're speaking, because speaking is such a natural thing, it's like walking, we generally don't think about it. You become aware, oh hey, I'm speaking right now, right? And then next, oh I'm repeating myself right now. So you become aware that you're speaking and that you're repeating. I often call this a loop. Right, a loop in my ABCs course. So you're repeating yourself. Once you become aware, you do what we call you break the loop. You break the pattern. It's a pattern interrupt. You stop. You immediately stop yourself, right? And instead of going back and saying that whole thing over and over again, it's like trying to run your head into a brick wall. You're probably going to get a headache or knock yourself out. You're not going to get a different result. You're probably not going to break the wall, right? So you have to figure out a different way of saying what you want to say. And it does not necessarily mean changing the words around. It just may, may mean saying it in a different way. And so how do you do that? So first you become aware, then you break the pattern, right? And then you change, right? You change. This, that's why we call it the ABCs. You change. I'm just going to call it the style, right? You change the style, you change the way, change the way that you're going to say it. So we have a whole set of what we call proactive speaking skills. And this allows you to learn how to speak in a way that when you hear people speak very well, you hear professional speakers or you hear people that speak well in your family or in your company, they are using some or all of these proactive speaking skills. So when you learn and you apply these proactive speaking skills, what happens is that you change the way you speak. You change the physical way that you speak and your brain recognizes, oh wow, we are speaking differently now. This is not the way we usually speak. And so it develops this smoother, more rhythmic, more fluid, um, just that one that sounds better, it feels better, it sounds better. To other people, right, your brain recognizes as something new, as something good, as something that you want to do, and not as something where you're repeating and you're getting stuck and you're blocking and so forth and so on. So learning the proactive speaking skills is one way that we help you change the way that you say it. The other way is something that we call modeling, which incorporates and encompasses the proactive speaking skills, and it's simply where you find someone who you like the way that they speak and you literally mimic, you imitate them. You don't have to copy their accent, but you copy their rhythm, you copy their style of speaking. Why do you want to do this? 
what this does is it takes you out of the way and it substitutes what your brain recognizes as your way of speaking, your speaking identity. It substitutes it with a new way of speaking and a new speaking identity, which eventually becomes yours. And we go into depth in talking about how this happens and why it happens and why it's good and, and how you actually learned how to speak and do many of the things you already do, and we still actually do this now. You've learned the way you speak. You've learned some of your mannerisms, personality characteristics. Many of the things that you and I do now, we've learned by modeling. It's what we call observational learning, by mimicking and modeling and observing other people do it. So it's very, very natural. You already know how to do it. This is how you learn to speak in the first place. So when people say, oh, that doesn't work, or no, it does work. It already has worked. It is still working. We still model people, and sometimes we just don't even know it, right? So modeling works. It has worked. It is working, and it will always work, okay? So modeling is another way. You learn practice speaking skills. You model. But on a tactical level, there are times where you may actually need to change the way you're going to say something. Now, this isn't the only way. This isn't the only thing that you need to focus on. Okay, I'm just going to change the way I say it. I'm going to replace this. I'm going to substitute, and that's the way I'm going to be able to communicate what I want. No, but it is a tool. It is a tactic that can be used from time to time. Why? Because when you're speaking, like the way that I'm speaking right now, I'm not thinking on the word level. I'm not thinking about the words that I'm using. I'm not going in and selecting the words and putting the phrases together. This isn't something that I've rehearsed, so it's, okay, I'm going to say this this way and say this. No, I have an idea. I have a message. I have information that I want to communicate to you, and I'm simply allowing my brain to stream that information and access the words that it wants to use in this very moment. So it's just streaming. I'm streaming my thoughts, right? And so by doing that, I'm not even seeing the words, and so I'm not able to anticipate the words. Does that make sense? So what that means is that if I have a message, if I have an idea, if I have something that I want to say, I don't need to be thinking about the words that I'm going to use to say it. I just need to open my mouth and say it. Now, this is something that you can train yourself to do so that you will not struggle with this idea of not being able to say the things that you need to say in that moment. Does that make sense? All right. So if this is an issue for you, right, you're repeating things over and over, you're blocking or whatever it is, you first become aware that you're doing. First you, first you become aware that you're speaking. Then you become aware of what you're doing. Then you stop it. You break the pattern, right? It's a pattern interrupt. Then you change. How do you change it? Well, you use proactive speaking skills, which you learn in the system. You model, right? And there are times where it's very, very appropriate to change the way you're going to say it. It's okay sometimes to use different words to communicate clearly. Right? So when people get locked into saying, this is the only way I can say this. I know you have to say your name, uh, certain other things that you have to say, but there's still multiple ways, and the reason I know this is I work with people every day and help them see, that, hey, there's multiple ways that I can say this. I don't have to just say it this way. When you give yourself the freedom and the flexibility to say things in different ways, you feel more relaxed, you feel more in control, you feel freer, and when that happens, the tendency is that you won't block or you won't repeat or you won't stutter or stammer or get stuck as much. Trust me on this. It's This is very, very strategic in giving yourself the freedom to see and to say things in different ways. But remember, this isn't the only way. So I'm not just saying, okay, just change the way you're saying it. I'm not saying that. But I'm saying that it is a tool and it is a way, but it's only one. And the other two are the ones that are more primary. So you're changing your speaking style. Right? You're changing the way you're, speaking. you're using proactive speaking skills. You're modeling. And you're giving yourself the freedom to say things in different ways. So to learn more about this, this strategy, this is strategic. Right? To learn more about this, jump into the program, enroll today into the Pro 90 Smooth Speech System, or what you might see as 
Pro90D, the ultimate smooth speech system. All right, we'll see you next time.